hey guys deepak here so we are going to discuss about microsoft office 365 is a cloud exchange version so in this video we are going to learn how to add new users in office 365 if we have a cloud version so here i have a option add user so what i need to do i'll go to active users add new user here i need to enter the password like i'm going to create account for john john j so this will be display name for john j and here i need to specify his first name or those as per your company need if i have a multiple domain that will reflect here as i don't have any other domain so i have only this trial version sombria on microsoft.com so here i need to select the location so currently i am sitting in india so i need to select india if you are long from another country you can choose another state location <coughs> so in the contact information you can mention his uh, job uh, job title as i'm going to type system admin his system admin belong from IT department office is Gurugram and office phone number if you want you can mention city and uh, there are a lot of stuff so after that we need to come to that part password section so there is a two options first is a auto generate password and second one is a let me choose when i click on let me choose it will give me option to set the password so if you want you can generate password automatically you can choose auto generate password so i'm going to enter manually <sighs> if you want user can change their password at their first login you can take this option or you can unselect so roll so users don't have administrator access so if you want you can make it global admin customization customized up administrator so far so if we come to the next part is a product license so here we have a 365 customer engagement plan edition so as i use am as i'm using a trial version i have a 25 license uh, from Microsoft for trial version one I used for mine and the next one will be allocated to this user so after this you can if you want you can create user without license so you need to tick this option so finally you need to click on add so if you want this is the system admin email id you can send them email or if you want you can uncheck this so click close so now you can see we have a john j another user for my office 365 domain so thanks for watching this video we'll catch you next video